Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today I'm going to explain why I decided to vaccinate my nine and 11 year old boys. As I mentioned in a prior video published in December, I was initially hesitant to vaccinate my younger boys because I just felt like there had not been a large enough number of children that had been studied yet, especially for the side effect that has been seen more commonly in young men aged 16 to 29 called myocarditis with the mRNA vaccines. I was hopeful with the smaller Pfizer dose that's given to kids aged 5 to 11, there would be fewer initial side effects seen. And now that we have nearly 9 million doses of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine that's been given to kids aged 5 to 11 since it was approved in October, we have so much more data that continues to be reassuring. So far, there have not been any huge red flags with any new side effects. Of the side effects that were listed in the Vaccine Adverse Reporting System, about 97% of them were not serious and were largely routine side effects such as arm pain, fatigue, or headache. Of the 100 severe effects that were seen, there were 29 reports of fever, 21 reports of vomiting, and 10 reports of seizures. There were 15 reports of myocarditis. But compared to the rate of 11 men per 100,000 in the age range of 16 to 29, 15 cases of myocarditis and 8.7 million doses is exceedingly rare. Of course, VAERS is a voluntary reporting system and is subject to loss of bias, but based on the fact that we've all been poised to watch for myocarditis, I personally think that by now we would be seeing it occur with greater frequency if it was going to be a problem in this population. And don't forget that there are risks to children who contract a COVID-19 infection. We know that myocarditis, MISC, or multi-inflammatory syndrome in children, and even very, very rarely death, can occur in children aged 5 to 11 who contract COVID-19. Furthermore, with the recent Omicron surge, we're seeing more children hospitalized. Of course, this is to be expected as more children are infected with COVID-19, I expect the percentage of children aged 5 to 11 that are hospitalized with complications with COVID is probably the same, but it's just that we're seeing so many more children and adults infected with the Omicron variant of the SARS-CoV-2, so the numbers admitted to the hospital are increasing. Thankfully, I don't think anyone in the medical community thinks that Omicron is more serious for children, and thankfully, death from COVID-19 in young, healthy children continue to be very, very rare. So at the end of the day, it really is what risks you as a parent are more comfortable with. For myself, keeping my kids healthy and in school is a priority. Now that I've received more data on the safety of the vaccine, for me personally as a parent, the risk of a COVID infection is higher than the risk for the vaccine. Of course, this continues to be such a personal decision for each parent. Stay tuned for a future video where you'll follow along with me and my two boys as they receive their first COVID vaccine and share their personal experiences with it. Thanks for joining me.